Hey, you're watching Pro Fintech. My name is Eva. Today we will talk about the origins of banking and the main types of banks, the advantages of traditional and digital banks versus payment systems. Tune in to find out which exactly is more favorable for you. Banking industry appeared thanks to the demand for certain financial services. In classical times, reliable walls of temples and monasteries attracted those who wanted to place their savings there. People themselves brought money and values to the clergy for storage. Temples also received rich gifts and donations, so the clergymen always had a lending capacity. This way, they became the main competitors of moneylenders, the first creditors to lend money at an interest. The word bank is of Italian, Middle Age origin. Banco means bench or table in Italian. This word was used in the Republic of Venice for benches on which money changers and moneylenders laid out their coins and business papers. If the moneylender went bankrupt and could not fulfill his payment obligations, then this bench was broken against his head. The modern word bankrupt comes from Italian banco rotto, broken bench. By the way, did you know that among the banks founded in 15th to 17th centuries, there are some that are still operating? For example, the oldest bank in the world, Monte dei Pasci di Siena, founded in 1472, has been providing banking services till this day. A modern bank means not only a settlement account, loan facilities, a repository for customers' funds. This is a complex environment, a whole ecosystem that is built around the needs of a client. Quite often these needs go beyond classical banking services. For example, private clients need support in real estate, healthcare and insurance, and entrepreneur value tools that simplify accounting. Payment systems, banks and digital banks cope with the new needs of the market differently. They all have advantages in different segments of financial services and find their perfect customer in different fields. A traditional bank is a classic type of bank and the most heavily regulated by many rules and frameworks. The main functions of a traditional bank is the accumulation of funds, regulation of money turnover and lending, as well as mediation. What is accumulation of funds? By opening a bank account, we place our own funds, money for storage. The bank accumulates the money of all its customers and while they are there, uses it for other operations. Simply put, a bank lends some of its clients' money to others. Lending is a fundamental function of traditional banks. By the way, did you know that our deposits in bank accounts are provided with hard cash by no more than 15%? On average, only 10-50% to of all electronic money issued by the bank was in reality deposited in the bank. The rest exists only on paper, more precisely, on the screen. And so it is all over the world. For every hard cash dollar, there are nine virtual ones, completely unsecured. Another function of the bank is the regulation of cash turnover. Banks are the center of the financial system. They ensure the exchange of funds and capital turnover. In addition, banks are fully responsible for checking the legality of the origin of incoming funds and are obliged to control the circulation of illegal money. This is why banks check all the details of each transaction so carefully. Finally, the most well-known function of the bank is mediation. As financial intermediaries, banks handle all payments and money transfers, private and commercial. In general, the bank is a very important link in the development and growth of the economy of any state. The growth of the country's economy directly depends on how willingly banks lend to businesses and the population. That is why during crisis, governments help banks. Global financial crisis proved that in the event of the threat of bankruptcy of large banks, governments are forced to save them at the expense of taxpayers' money, to avoid the risk of paralyzing the entire system of money circulation. The evolution of finance and the banking system has led to the widespread use of cashless settlements. Large banks were forced to introduce online banking services, providing customers with access to their accounts at any time of the day and from anywhere in the world via the Internet. But as a rule, a traditional bank is a heavy machine with its bureaucratic system, slowly introducing new solutions and technologies. An alternative to a traditional bank is a digital bank. The digital bank provides all banking services exclusively online and via mobile application platforms. 
Such a bank is called digital-only bank, virtual bank or sometimes branchless bank. A digital bank is a subject to the same requirements as the traditional one. Bank license, mandatory deposit insurance, capital adequacy. It could be considered a light version of a traditional bank with a full range of services, including lending, but no physical branches. The most important difference between a digital bank and a traditional one is that the customer's relationship with the bank begins and remains strictly online. Verification procedure, that is, digital identification, makes it possible to conclude an agreement with a new client and open a bank account remotely. It is almost impossible to remotely open an account in a traditional bank. In general, the services of digital banks are similar to the capabilities of a traditional bank, but have certain advantages. For example, instant money transfers and other transactions in real time, customer support 24-7. In addition, the cost of servicing and maintaining an account here is usually much lower. Prominent players in the digital banking market are N26, Monzo, Fidor. Another alternative to a heavy traditional bank is a payment institution or, in the language of financiers, simply PI. These are online platforms via which the main financial transactions are carried out. A PI accepts a money transfer and credits the equivalent in electronic money to the customer's account. The customer can use them as real money to pay for purchases and services. Money transfer for crediting the amount to the account can be carried out in any electronic way – by card, bank transfer, electronic wallet, in rare cases by prepaid card or voucher. The most famous PIs are Revolut, TransferWise, Paysera. PIs do not accept payments in cash, they cannot issue loans and do not support pension saving programs. Their main features are convenience of service and high speed. Despite a narrower range of services compared to the bank, they offer the best functionality for less money. PIs also provide cryptocurrency accounts. By the way, did you know that the positive feature of PIs is 100% secure deposits? The thing is, the payment institutions are not allowed to give out any loans, so they do not operate with clients' deposited money. Moreover, they are obliged to deposit all the accumulated finances on special client accounts in traditional banks. This means that all electronic money issued by the payment institution is 100% secured by a traditional bank deposit. The bank, in its turn, cannot use client funds to issue loans or in other of its operations, and in case of bank closure, client accounts of payments are reimbursed 100%. When opening a new payment institution, simplified regulation applies to it. You need to get a license, but there is no requirement for deposit insurance. You can provide services only in the territory indicated in the license. So what should I choose? For individuals, PIs and digital banks are the most convenient. They offer convenience of service, low fees, good currency conversion. Their cards are convenient for everyday use and especially during travel. A plus – there is no binding to the country, everything is online. What else does a modern cosmopolitan need? For small businesses, and especially if it is an online business, a PI is the obvious as well. These systems do not work with large amounts, but for owners of medium-sized businesses the volume is quite enough. A traditional or digital bank is suitable for the needs of a large business only. Leasing, factoring, credit facilities are services that big business cannot do without. However, for the acceleration and convenience of some business processes, many also use PIs. That's it for now. See you in the next pros! Thank you.